Yo, what's going on, VIP family? Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. I am currently heading to uh, Lowe's right now to pick up some supplies for what I'm going to be making. Keep you guys in tune with that. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, pretty much, we are almost at our giveaway. If you guys haven't or if you guys haven't heard about it, I'm doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So tell a friend, tell a mom, tell an aunt anybody you know once we get to that 500 subscriber uh the giveaway will start uh go to my uh youtube video that i have called giveaways comment your number one through 500 i'm gonna be picking three winners uh the three winners will pretty much receive some good stuff so like i said once we reach that uh 500 subscriber spot i will be doing that giveaway all right, let's get this video started. This is a man's this is a man's Yo, what's going on, VIP family? Welcome back to another episode. And just like the title said, I'm going to be working on a custom intake for the LS430. Uh, something that I thought about. So let me kind of go over what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I went to the junkyard recently. Got this part. Uh, it's pretty much the intake box. So what I'm going to be doing is pretty much how it's highlighted out. I'm going to cut this section out. Pretty much uh, put plexiglass so that way you could be able to see. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be adding a Tom's Street, uh, Street Ram 2 or Super Ram 2 Street Filter. Uh, it's pretty much an air filter. Those of you that don't know, Tom's is a big uh, company in Japan that pretty much specializes in um, a lot of the race stuff over there. So this is the air filter that I'm going to be installing in here. So pretty much it's going to sit as it would be on top. And what you'll be able to see is the Tom's logo so it'll be cool cool little detail um, and then once I get this cut out pretty much shaped how I want it um, I'm gonna have go back to the paint shop have this pretty much paint to match the interior as is underneath the hood right now so it's gonna be white so I'm pretty much gonna be doing that uh, to match so uh, another thing about the filter before I get into cutting it is a reusable filter so pretty much you could just wash it let it dry out and then reuse it so that's pretty cool uh, the filter ran me about I believe it was like 85 85 to 90 dollars I know some of you guys are like, that's a crazy price, but pretty much you're paying for the brand. Not only are you paying for the brand, but you are paying for a reusable filter that you can use over and over and over. So, yeah, that's good. Um, so, yeah, no further ado. Let's get to cutting this uh, section out. I'll let you guys see how that goes. So it's getting there, pretty much just cutting this line out, trying to get it as straight as possible. Um, pretty much start seeing that's going through. So I'm just gonna keep working on it more and I'll update you guys as I go. So I got 
this out. Uh, pretty much what I'm about to do right now is just go over it with the Dremel and just clean up the corners. Uh, yeah, pretty much just clean up the corners and then from there, like I said, just get the plexiglass to fit, measure it up, and then pretty much take it to get it painted and then we will install it. But yeah, so far so good. All right, so this is what I got drawn out so far. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out before I even get to plexiglass. So I'm gonna cut around it, around the black lines, and then you know if I need to chop from there, I could chop it off. Uh, and then from there, if it matches up, then I could go ahead and get the uh, the plexiglass and cut that. And then from there get it painted and get it put back on so that's pretty much the plan so I'm going to put this aside bring this back over here alright so I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way for you guys okay so Pretty much, it's ideal, cool, ideal. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I really wanna put it in from the inside, so I'm gonna go ahead and see where I need to make some adjustments out. So, looks like this, let's see. It's gonna be this section right here needs to go. My main problem is going to be this end right here, so what I'm going to do is probably just try to cut that more, uh, and then cut this piece right here, try to cut that more, uh, so that way it could fit perfectly. Besides that, everything else looks like it fits good, because what I'm going to do is, with the plexiglass, I'm going to go ahead and throw some uh, type of sealing in there to seal it to keep air from getting in and you won't be able to see it you'll just see the plexiglass from the outside but you won't be able to see you know the glue and stuff so that's pretty much the goal so i'm gonna go ahead keep working on that and go from there all right so i got the plexiglass so pretty much what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trace it and then cut it out and if i mess up then i got enough plexiglass to pretty much uh redo it so, yeah, here's nothing. Alright, that's pretty much there. So, alright. So, that's pretty much the same design. So, I'm going to go ahead and score it, cut it out. Score it with my scoring knife um, and pretty much cut it out. Hopefully, it matches up like the cardboard did. And if it does, then pretty much I seal it and get it ready for the paint shop. But yeah, let's get it. Pretty much, place the glasses cut out, and that's pretty much how it's gonna look. So, I'm gonna transfer it to the sunlight. <clears throat> that way we can see what's up. Alright. So that's pretty much how it's going to look. Like I said, it's going to get cleaned up a little bit more. This is just a rough draft. That's how it's going to look. You see the Tom's air filter in there. Looks good, man. Just got to clean it up. And then it'll pretty much go on. Bam, so it'll be the whole intake um, covers, and then like I said, this is going to be painted white to match. Yeah. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, 
smash that like button subscribe comment down below if you guys have any questions but yeah that's pretty much a wrap thank you guys for tuning in